Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fan out images on scroll to promote an image gallery in Divi. Here are the results we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so what we're going to do here is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and then click on add new. So I'm going to call this page my fan, but of course you can name this whatever you want. And then we're going to click on use Divi Builder. So for this design, I'm going to build everything from scratch. So I'm going to click on build from scratch. I'm going to close this for now because we need to add some padding to my section here. So I'm going to come over here to my section settings, click on design. And then over here on spacing, I'm going to add 10 VW. And I'm going to also apply this to the bottom. So I'm going to activate this change so I can have the same value both to the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to save. Next, I'm going to click here on this plus button and we are going to add our column structure. So we're going to go with this column structure right here and let's go ahead and select it. Okay, great. Now this part, you can decide whether you want to add an image in the background or not. We are going to revisit this towards the end of the tutorial. So let's keep moving. Now, the next step is to add a text module into column one. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button and search for my text module. And here it is. So in here, we're going to add just text that says our gallery. I'm going to highlight it and set this to heading one. Now let's go and customize this text. So to customize it, I'm going to come over here to design heading text. Now remember, it's heading one. Now, if you've forgotten which heading it is, you just come over here and highlight the word and you'll see this pen brush tool. So I'm going to click on that and this will take me to the exact heading that I need to work with. And it also works with fonts as well. So anyway, the font I need to use for this is going to be um, Pelefe. So I'm going to search for it and there we go. Select that. Now I need to align this. So I'm going to align this to the right and I also need to increase the size to 150. We don't want this nice and big so that uh, this defines our title for our gallery, okay? Now, we might as well go in and set our sizes for our desktop and tablet. So I'm going to click on this little icon here, click on tablet. And in the tablet here, we are going to set this at 110 because on the tablet, it's really big, okay? Let's do the same for the phone as well. 110 should be fine. So I guess everything now is all set. Now, this should only be applied to... The alignment should only be applied to these other views. So let's go in here and fix that. So we only want the alignment here to be to the right on the tablet. Okay, so on the phone, let's just keep it like that. And also on the desktop, we're just going to keep it to the left. Okay, so just make sure you go in and do those adjustments. Right, so now that we've added that, we need, also need to add a button. So I'm going to save this. And then over here, I'll click on this plus button and search for my button module. And here it is. Notice I'm just typing a few letters here for my module to show up. So I'm going to select my button and it's time now to just give it a title. So I'm going to say view gallery. There we go. Uh, next, you need to uh, add a link to this. So I'm just going to add a blank link for now. Now we need to customize this button because it doesn't look you know, really great. This is what we get out of Divi. So we want to stylize it, make it look like our own. Okay, so I'm going to click here on design. Now you need to go over here to button and activate use custom styles for button. So let's start here with the size. So we're going to go with 14. We don't want this too big. Okay, and uh, the button text color is going to be white like that. So it looks like it's disappeared. <laughs> just bear with me. It's going to come back. I just need to add the background color by clicking here on this plus button. I'm going to paste my color in here. So if you want to use this the exact same color as I'm using, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. So button border width, we are going to set this to zero. And then our button letter spacing is going to be three pixels. So we just want the text to be apart from each other. Next, let's go to our font here and we're going to go with Montserrat. Okay, so let's search for it. And here it is. I'm going to select that. And for our button style, we are going to make it all caps so it can really stand out. Now we need to set our margin to the top. So I'm going to scroll down, go to spacing and margin top needs to be 7VW like that. 
So I'm pretty happy with uh, what I've done so far. Let's go ahead and save this. I'll go ahead and save. Now we need to come over here and add our images. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and search for my image module. And here it is. Great. So the next part now is to add our images. Now for this design, we need to make sure we have the right sizes. So I'm going to be using 400 by 600 pixels. In fact, let me just show you uh, the image in my media library. So the size we're going to use are these dimensions 400 by 600. Okay, so now that I've got that, let's go ahead and upload the image. Now let's go into our image settings. So I need to go into the design tab. So here we need to set our maximum width. So to do that, we need to come to sizing and our maximum width here needs to be 200. But this needs to be on the tablet and the phone. So I'm gonna come over here set this to 200 there we go and i'm going to do the same for the phone as well set this to 200 now let's head over to spacing so here we need to in fact you know what let me just bring this back to my desktop view right so what we need to do here is on the desktop make sure you're on the right tab i'm going to come over here and add zero pixels to my margin bottom and we also need to add margin left for the tablet. So I'm going to hover over here and click on this little icon, go to the tablet, and for the margin left, I'm going to set this to zero. Okay, so that's all I need to do. Now, the reason why I'm going into the mobile devices is because I want to make sure that my design looks great on all my designs. Okay, so now that I've added this, we are going to need to duplicate this twice. So I'm going to save and then back over here. We're just going to duplicate it again. And now we have two of these images. So the next step now is to, in fact, you know what? Let me go into my layers view because it's easier for me to find what I'm working on. So I'm on the second column, which is right here. So it's the second image I need to work on. And you can see it's highlighted when I just mouse over it. So let's go ahead and go into this. So I'm going to select my image. And with that set, we need to go to position. So I'm going to go to advanced position. So for this one, we are going to set our position as absolute. And uh, we're going to go with uh, the same positioning. The default positioning is fine. Now I am going to go to transform. So transform can be found on the design tab. So I'm going to click here on design, transform. And here we need this last one. So transform origin. And we need to uh, make sure our origin here is right here on the bottom. And then the next step now is to go to my scroll effects, which you can uh, find over here on the advanced tab, scroll effects. And let's start here with horizontal motion. I'm going to enable it. So now that I've enabled it, let's set this part up. So this is our horizontal motion. Okay, so we're going to start with this. We're going to set this to 20% like that. And then over here in our values, we're going to start at zero. And then in the middle here, it's going to be 0 0.5. And then the ending needs to be 0 0.5 as well. Now let's move on to the next part, which is the rotate. So I'm going to select my rotate here. Make sure it's activated. So with our rotate here, we're also going to have this at 20%. We're going to start at zero. And then in the middle here, we're going to set this to 20 degrees. And then... Well, the last part is also going to be 20 degrees. So make sure the ending offset here is 0 0.5 and not 5. So this is how we get it to that position. All right, so now that we have our image in place, we need to uh, create a few versions of this. So we need to go in and uh, duplicate this again. So let's save what we've done here. And we're going to duplicate this. Okay, so now that we've duplicated it, we just need to go in and... Uh, adjust our settings so I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to my scroll effects so to do that I'm going to come to advanced scroll effects and the one I'm looking for here is the horizontal so let's go ahead and select that so we just need to go in and make a few adjustments to our image so this one here needs to be at one and instead of 0.5 over here as well we can set this to one and our 20% here is fine now for our rotation Let's go ahead and choose this tab here for our rotation. And we are going to set the middle part here at 40 degrees. 
and this one here at 40 degrees. Now notice as I'm adding my values, my image over here on the right is updating as well. So we may need to uh, label our images because <laughs> things are going crazy now. So let's start here with the top one. We're going to call this middle. Just click anywhere in here and start labeling it. So this one here is going to be the middle. And then, okay, so this one here is going to be mid right. And then this one here is going to be right. Great. So now that they're labeled, it's easier for me to find what I'm working with. So the next part now is to duplicate mid right. So we're going to come over here, duplicate mid right. So with this one here duplicated, the next step now is to drag it, but above the middle one. Okay, so now you can see it's right up there, which is great. So the next step is to go into our settings of this one here. So I'm going to click on this gear icon, advanced, and scroll effects. So let's start by going into our horizontal. So for this, we just need to make a few adjustments. So this one needs to be minus 5, now minus 0.5. And then this one here also needs to be minus 0.5. And then we also need to set our rotation, which is right here. So for our rotation here, we are also going to do a minus 20. So we're just offsetting our image there so that it is more to the left. Okay, there we go. I'm going to set that as well. So now we can see our position of our images. That is really looking cool. Okay, so we need to go to the right one as well and duplicate it. So I'm going to save this and then duplicate the right one. So let's give this name, this one here a name. We're going to call this left. And then the next step is to just bring it all the way above everything else. Okay, great. So now that we have left, the next step now is to go into our settings. And let's go to the advanced tab and scroll effect. Right, so let's go into our horizontal here. And for our horizontal, we're going to keep it at 20, 50 over here on the top. But over here, we're going to set this to minus 1 and minus 1. I hope you can see what I'm trying to do here. I'm just changing the positions of our images. And uh, to achieve this, I'm also just duplicating our images here to make it easier. Okay, so now that I have this all set, we're going to go to rotation. And this is where we need to set this at minus 40. Okay, we're going to do the same as well over here. This needs to be minus 40 as well. All right, so I need to now save this and we are going to go into the first column. So I'm going to click on this gear icon. Now we need to make sure our Z index is set right. So I'm going to come over here to advanced and we need visibility. Oh, we need position. Okay, so for our Z index here on position, we need to set this to 10. Now we have all our images in place, but this is the same image. So we need to go in and change these images because we don't want to use the same image over and over again. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in and change all these images. But as I'm changing it, I need to make sure that I'm using different images of the same dimensions. So I'm going to come over here for mid right and I'm going to change this image by just clicking anywhere in here. So let's go with this one. Upload image so you can see it's, a, it's been updated there. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Click anywhere in here, choose the next image, maybe go with that one, upload an image. Okay, we're going to save, move on to the next one. This time it's mid right. Click on this gear icon, click anywhere in here. Let's find our image. This time I'm going to go with uh, this one here. So all I'm doing here is to replace our images so that we just have different images in here. So I'm going to do the final one, which is this one right here. So I'm at the same time as I'm clicking these images, I'm making sure that my dimensions are right. Okay, fantastic. So I've added all my images. Now, if you need to, you can also go in and add different styles. Like, for example, if you come over here to design, you can go to filters and you can also play with the saturation here. So you can make it black and white you know, bring it down to about maybe 20%. Right, so these are different styles that you can add to all your images if you really wanted to. So what I'm going to do next now, set my column. So let me just save this. All right, so the next step now is to come over here to our second column. And we're going to come over here to design, transformation. 
And what I need here is rotation. So I'm going to set my rotation here. So all I have to do is to add 40 degrees right here. So now you can see they're offset to the side. And pretty much that's it. I am going to now save. Save everything here and close out of my layers view. Now let's take a look and see what this design looks like. So we're going to save and publish. Okay, so let's uh, exit the Visual Builder. Right, so let's test this out. So all we have to do is to start dragging. So you can see our images now are opening up like that. Really cool feature. So you can go ahead and try it out. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.